Hey, what's going on everyone? Joe here with another vid and this time this is a portrait from Pinterest which also turns out to be a picture on someone's Instagram account in which I will link in the comment section below and this picture in particular turns out to be everybody's favorite picture in which they've also painted so I'm just alone for the ride I guess but uh, just a short run through uh, nothing too specific uh, detailed about it um, start with a basic sketch line real rough nothing solid about it and I go to another layer and solidify those lines with a increased opacity setting uh, I think this one was about 20 to 25 on this layer and when I go to the second layer I use around 100% acid. and uh, after that I go from one color to the next just filling in all the shapes and playing around with uh, some highlights and shadings and different hues and things just to get a, get a good feel for what I'm going to do next. <laughs> So I'm just uh, filling in colors from one to the next and just throwing in some browns and some yellows getting the feel for what I'm going to do for the rest of the picture real fast and easy nothing too specific so trying to be all perfect at all really so I'm just uh, just winging it as I compare the uh, reference pick I'm using as you saw in the beginning of the video and as I go along as I get closer to finishing the picture uh, I start to tighten up a little bit Alright guys, there is a mistake here I made where instead of using the paintbrush tool, I use the eraser tool which pretty much erases that spot on the layer and it's see-through so the background I tried to make uh, comes straight through that layer which I didn't want so I went back in and painted it and also I used the brush preset tool to add dots along the blue lines on the jacket and on top of that as well I used the shape tool to fill in a yellow highlight which really helps with giving a sense of uh, depth and curvature along any part of the area on the pick.
here I decided to create an orange tint on the left side of the jacket area and I just simply thought it was a nice touch I used the uh, shape tool with a 30% opacity of an orange yellowish color and just threw it on top so I've drawn the frames of the glasses and then I start to darken up the face on a different layer and that way it'll be easy for me to define the highlights on the skin texture later on and make it more pronounced Here I started to add some reflections to the glasses and I moved the left eye over a little bit because it was close to the bridge of the nose and I had to do some repainting of the uh, cues around that area. So I'm still using about 20 to 40 percent opacity settings on the brushes I'm using and mainly I'm using a soft or hard circular or oval brush and uh, every now and then I switch to a texture based brush uh, just to add some highlights here and there but uh, just around two to four brushes for the most part uh, nothing too fancy or uh, overused here. Just trying to use as less as possible with uh, a high amount of detail, detail work. I'm trying to get in and out pretty much. Here's the mistake I had mentioned earlier where I used the eraser tool instead of a paintbrush to fill in the uh, highlights on the jacket and as you can see the blue is showing through those areas where there is no kind of uh, paint in the front of it so I just went back and used the paintbrush instead to fill in those gaps. That's it. So, uh, hopefully, y'all like the vid. If y'all have any questions, comments, or critiques, they're all welcome. Just comment in the section below. Um, if you want to support, just hit the like and subscribe button, and I will be back with another. Appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you.